Well, uh, we're out here to just uh, share good news with you people. I understand that this is what you call a pride event, but I want to I want to read to you what uh, the Bible says about pride. In Proverbs 16, verse 5, the Bible says, Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Though hand joins hand in hand, they shall not go unpunished. So what that tells us here today is that although you come out here in solidarity with your friends, with your family members, the Bible just says pride is an abomination to God. So in your pride, you're considered abominable before God. I used to be just like you, man. I used to be full of pride. But it wasn't until I humbled myself and I asked God for forgiveness to cleanse me from all my sins that I found redemption. I no longer walk in sin. I no longer walk in pride. But you come out here, you flaunt your uh, lifestyle, which goes against God's nature. And his word, the Bible says, your pride is an abomination unto God. You don't know what awaits you, folks. While you're out here having fun, you're committing the pleasures of the flesh, you're actually mocking God. And God said he's not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. You keep sowing your wild oats, you keep sinning, you keep uh, practicing sodomy, you keep having female on female, uh, relations and male on male relations it's going to catch up to you it's going to catch up to you in the form of chlamydia gonorrhea HIV rectal tears because you you use the anus for something that it's not uh, intended for the anus is an exit hole it's not an entry hole and you sodomites you homosexual males you need to repent or else you're going to perish. You think this is all fun and games. It's not fun and games when you're, when you get plummeted off into the lake that burns with fire and brimstone. It's not going to be fun and games when you take one second in the afterlife and you're buried in the depths of hell. I used to be a fornicator. I used to smoke marijuana. I used to uh, get drunk. But since I, I repented of my sins and I asked God for forgiveness, and I trusted in His Son, Jesus Christ, to cleanse me, I now walk in righteousness. But you can't say that, man. I know you're just doing a job, but I'd rather forsake this job and do the work of Christ. I wouldn't want to be any anywhere near this, this event in terms of supporting it. But you all come out here, you support that which God hates. The Bible says in Proverbs 16 that pride is an abomination before God. Jesus Christ can set you free. Because Jesus Christ said, words in red, in the beginning, God created the male and female so that they would multiply the earth. Amen. That's how you got here. That's how I got here. That's how we all got here between one man and one woman. You're not speaking contrary to their, their, their lifestyle. You're not warning them of what God says and telling them about Jesus Christ and how he can save them. Why are you bothering me? Because I have a mandate from God to preach the word. Do you have a question, sir? Hate. What is hate? Oh, I, if I, I preach the Bible. That's hate. That's hate to you. I have a right to preach the Bible verbatim. Okay, let me tell you one thing. Hey, that's fine, but the way you preach it, bro. Hey, man, I'm not here to sugarcoat anything. You're not supposed to sugarcoat. We're living in the last days where people are sinning hard. I got to preach hard. You got to preach hard, but no, we're not here for patty cakes, man, and handshakes. The Bible says, warn the wicked, preach. In season, out of season. Preach, not harass. What does preach mean, man? In the Greek, it means lift up your voice. It means to herald the gospel. I don't appreciate that smoke, man. Why don't you have a little common sense and a little decency? I don't appreciate you. Well, this what you're doing right now is against the law. I don't want to smoke marijuana, man. I used to be delivered from that. I don't smoke cigarettes. The way you say I don't care what you do. Doesn't matter. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 6, 9. Okay? That. Do you not know that the unrighteous shall not inherit God's kingdom? That's the unrighteous Be not deceived. That's gay. That's Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves or mankind. That means homosexual. All of us. Nor thieves. It's I used, all of us. Well, hold on. Verse 11. And, all of us. and such were some of you. 
but you are washed, you are sanctified, you are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. It names all of us. It don't mean you come out here and slander one person. I used to be a sinner, yeah. but I don't walk in that lifestyle You're anymore. Still a sinner. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I've been saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. I've been sanctified, man. I don't smoke cigars like this rank sinner here. I don't try to You're stop judging. the gospel. You're, but I'm You're, not you're to stop stopping the gospel. Okay. But I, I, Why are you blocking wrong. me, man? You, I'm not blocking you. Okay, well, let me walk. This is a public sidewalk. This is the land of the free, home of the brave. You don't want them to be delivered from their sins. You want them to be bound up in their homosexuality. I want them to be set free. I, 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 I know about former homosexuals, former lesbians. Like, give me some space, you know, give me some man. Give me some give space. Me some space. You're going to go straight to jail. Get this on camera, and we're going to call the I'm cops. You go straight to the pen. But you're harassing us. Actually, city jail. So, folks, you see that the devil doesn't want me to preach, but I'm going to preach anyways. Because you're working for the devil right now. You're under the spirit of your father, Satan. I preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus not Christ said, right. unless you repent, you shall all right. likewise perish. You're not perish. preaching right. Luke 13, You're not verse preaching 3. right, man. But you You're don't understand that because right. you love uh -huh. your sin. Uh, uh, do I love my sin? Yes, you love your sin, oh, man. Yeah, I'm flesh, yeah. But I know there's a God, and I know he's real. Well, if you know he's real, why don't you obey him, man? Why don't you trust him and repent of your right, sins? Though, Jesus right. said, repent, man. That means 180 right, degree man. turn. Right. It's right. Yes. No one else is going to tell you the Please truth. Right. No one else is going to tell you what's right and what's wrong. Please. I'm here preaching right, man. You don't want it because it's the truth. You, you want me to say, Jesus right. loves you. This I know because right. the Bible tells me so. Right. That's what you've been told in right, Sunday bro. school. But I'm here to tell you that unless you repent, you're all going to go to hell fire. You're going to burn, fire. man. You're going to burn. burn and your burn's going to be that much harder it's for coming against me. Yeah, he's going to afflict you, man. man. He's going to afflict right, you. Bro. Because you're coming against the God, not, man of God. Okay? Man of God. The Bible says, touch not God's anointed. Do his prophets no harm. Okay, but you're, but you're touching me in a sense, essentially by blocking me, by, by countering what I'm doing. Okay, I'm here to preach the gospel. And you're killing your lungs, man. Why don't you give your lungs a little mercy? They're crying out for help. How long have you been smoking? How long have you been putting nicotine in your body? How long have you been doing that? It's the word. In in season and out of season. It says that we shall not murder. Murder. Thou shalt not murder. When you smoke your cigar, you're murdering your body, man. You're killing yourself. Okay? When you smoke your marijuana, you're getting drunk. The Bible says no drunkard has any inheritance in God's kingdom. 1 Corinthians 6, 9, and 10. So when you take one hit of marijuana, you're immediately intoxicated. Okay. When you vape, you're yeah. intoxicated yeah. by tar, yeah. well, rat poison, people, okay? Man. Bathroom cleaner, okay? Carbon monoxide, all types of uh, sick poisons that you're putting in your body. But you're not going to stop the word of God, man, because I have an inheritance. I've been redeemed by the blood of the lamb. I don't have one tattoo on my body, not one ear piercing, because God called me from a very young age. When my, my parents sat me at the edge of the bed and they told me about stories of Sodom and Gomorrah and how God rained down fire on those filthy sinners. I was about knee high to a grasshopper when I heard that story. When they told me about the flood and the days of Noah and how God destroyed the whole world by a flood, by raging waters that came above the wicked's head and they were not able to get out and they were drowned. Only Noah, a preacher of righteousness, was saved and his seven family members. So shall it be in these last days. When God will save his elect, I'm one of them. When he will spare us from God's wrath, I'm one of them. The Bible says, much more now being justified by his blood, we shall be spared from the wrath of God to come. Amen. I don't appreciate that cigar smoke. How many times do I got to tell you? Stop blowing your cigar smoke in my face. Hey, officer, can I hit this out of his hand? You keep, you, 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 keep you, you keep blowing that cigar smoke in my face, game? and I'm gonna hit it out your hand. You, you, you keep you, blow, you keep blowing that cigar smoke in my face, game? and I'm gonna hit it out your hand. Get that cigar smoke out of my face. I don't want to smoke your cigar. Can we just? Uh, Thank you. Can we just? I have a public a right of way here to stand on the sidewalk. You cannot impede me, sir. That's self imprisonment. That's that's imprisonment. Thank you. Folks, when you disagree with someone, you don't smoke in their face and blow it down their lungs. Okay, God delivered me from cigarettes and cigars and marijuana. I'm a born-again Christian. I don't want to smoke cigarettes. I want to be sober. I want to, I want to be vigilant because the adversary is seeking whom he may devour, the devil. He's out here to steal, kill, and destroy, but Jesus Christ came that you might have life. You might not be on this list. Show them the list. Point it that way. I used to be a drunk. 
I used to be a pot smoker. I used to be a fornicator. I used to be a porn watcher. But God delivered me and He could deliver you too. So when you stand out here in solidarity with the prideful, the Bible says pride is an abomination unto God. Proverbs 16, verse 5. The Bible says, humble yourself before the mighty hand of God and He will exalt you in due time. That's what I did, folks. I had to lay down my pride and I had to humble myself before God and He, for, he forgave me of my sins. And He taught me in His Word how I ought to walk, how I ought to live my life. Jesus Christ said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. But when you, ra when you wave this rainbow flag, folks, you're slapping God in the face. You're spitting in God's face because the rainbow was a sign of a covenant between God and man that He would no longer destroy the world in a flood. But you make a mockery of God and you wave it in your pride, which is your shame. The Bible says you glory in your shame. God's coming back. And He's coming back for a church without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. He's coming back for His bride. Jesus Christ is the groom. And the church is His bride. The real church. The called out. The ecclesia. Those who've repented of their sins. Those who don't call themselves Christians and still smoke. And still get drunk. Look at I can, I'm having trouble breathing right now. Because this guy blew his cigar smoke in my mouth for about 15 minutes. I don't like that. I don't appreciate that. You don't get it through your thick skull, man, that God will not tolerate your smoke. The Bible says the smoke of their torment will rise up forever and ever. That's the inheritance of the wicked. Okay? The smoke of their torment is going to rise forever and ever like a memorial before God.